46 local high schools compete in a tournament of knowledge for a trip to Europe on this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by SBC, Oracle, and the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, the one, the only, Brad Friedman. Thank you very much. Welcome, and thank you for joining me as we continue to launch our seventh season of Quiz Kids. We have two terrific teams as we continue our first round of play. Over here, we have the De La Salle Spartans. And they are taking on the San Mateo High School Bearcats. <laughs> Thus, let us commence with the collaboration round. <laughs> Welcome, players. As you know, the first round is played as a team. I have a series of 10-point questions here. I will ask your team a question, give you about 10 seconds to, well, maybe even less, five seconds, to collaborate, and then James or Michelle, your captain, will give me the answer you think is correct. Give me the right answer, and you score 10 points. Give me the wrong answer, the other team gets a few seconds to collaborate and possibly steal those points away. We'll go back and forth till the buzzer signals the end of the round. Good luck to both teams. And De La Salle, you get the first question. In some versions of the story, she took over her husband's place at the cannon at the Battle of Monmouth after he was wounded. What is this term applied to women, real or fictional, who bravely carry water into battle? Um, Molly Pitcher? Ah, uh, yes, that is right. Pitchers. Bearcats, your first question. It is one of the 26 regions of France. However, strictly speaking, this island is a territorial collectivity by law. Famed as the birthplace of Napoleon, the Strait of Bonifacio separates Sardinia from what island? Corsica. Corsica? That's right, for 10 points. Sometimes the word ambient is added to this term to denote a temperature of 25 Celsius and 100 kilopascals of pressure. What term usually applies to conditions of one atmosphere and zero degrees Celsius, abbreviated STP? Um, standard temperature and pressure. That is correct. <laughs> Born in San Francisco, he was a regular on the Jack Benny Show, where he played several roles. Who then went on to team up with Warner Brothers, lending his talents to the voices of Sylvester the Cat, Daffy Duck, and Bugs Bunny? I don't, have an answer. don't know. You can steal. Uh, Mel Blanc. That's right, Mel Blanc. <laughs> Cal quarterback Aaron Rodgers wound up being drafted by what NFC North team where he one day might succeed Brett Favre? Uh, Packers. That's right, the Green Bay Packers, exactly. <laughs> Though in hindsight it is seen as more of a coup d'etat, it was still remarkable since because James fled, William was never put in the position of having to decide what to do with him. What was the so-called bloodless revolution in England? The glorious revolution? That's right, for 10 points. On a tour through Canada in 1974, he disappeared for a few days, reappeared in New York, applied for asylum, and went on to join the American Ballet Theater. Who is this famous Russian-American dancer, almost also famous for his acting? Uh, Barishnikov. Correct, for 10. <coughs> the goal of this martial art is the discipline of the human character through the application of the principles of the katana. What is this art of Japanese fencing that developed from swordsmanship techniques called Kenjutsu? Samurai? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Kanto? Uh, I'm going to accept it because I heard him telling it correctly. It's Kendo, correct, kendo. for 10. The modern-day city of Katesiphon may be the basis for Izbanir, which is a major setting in this frame tale. Written during the reign of Harun al-Rashid, what is this famous collection of Middle Eastern literature? Um, Arabian Nights. Correct, for 10 points. 
I was always told that if I lacked focus, I'd be bad in math. I need two foci to, uh, I need two foci to draw an ellipse or a hyperbola, but what conic section has only one focus, not called a center? A parabola? That's right, for 10 points. <laughs> that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score. San Mateo has 30, De La Salle's in the lead with 70 points. We will come right back and say hello to the teams after these words. Don't go away. Thank you. Doesn't it sound like we're having fun? You can have the same kind of fun down here in our studio audience. Just call us at 650-637-1936. We will send you tickets to a future taping. Do that right away. Welcome De La Salle and James Kildun. James, are you a, a senior? Yes, I am. A senior. And very much into the outdoors. Yes. Are you like to camp? Yeah, I like to camp, ski, hike, anything. And you're involved in both cross country and track and field at school. Yes. So that kind of gets you out indoors yeah. and running. Um, cross country starting now? Yeah, it just started. How you doing? Um, I had an injury, so I'm going to be out for a little while, but I'm going to get back in there. and. Oh. Yeah. Well, you can lie on the lawn looking up at the sky while your friends run hard around the track. Yeah. Well, I hope you heal very quickly. Chris Calderwood, you are a um, math and science kind of guy. Yep. Um, we couldn't come up with anything else. We've determined you are not much fun. Depends on who you talk to, yeah. So if someone says, no, 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 Chris is fun, what would you be doing at the time? Um, I like listening to music and movies and friends, you know. Hanging out with friends and stuff. stuff. You want to go into engineering afterwards, though. Yeah, I do. Well, engineers have to work very hard to be fun, so you kind of keep working on that, okay? I will. Keep your friends around you. Kevin Berlin. Yes. Kevin, you're a really well-rounded guy. I mean, you want to go into medicine someday, but you're very much into the liberal arts. Yes, I am. Involved in drama at school. What is what is uh, De La Salle doing right now? Well, De La Salle will be presenting um, Arthur Miller's All My Sons uh, later in October, so okay. that will be good. And how are you involved in that production? I'm um, student assistant for the director, so I handle pretty much everything uh, during rehearsals until the stage manager takes over during um, the last few weeks up to the production, and I'm also an understudy for several characters on that play. You like to get on stage as well? I do like to get on stage. Well, break a leg, even if you're backstage, for this one, and uh, we'll talk to you about other things maybe in the future. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Lou. Ascatino. <laughs> sorry, Lou, it rolled off the tongue last time. I'm so sorry. San Mateo Bearcats, Michelle McComb. You are a senior. Yes. And you are captain, and you are also involved in theater. Yes, I am. I've what? been participating since my freshman year. I've done nine shows since. Nine year. shows. Yeah. Good. You want to keep doing that for fun or? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's a fun activity. Good. And what are you thinking of after high school? What do you want to study? I'd like to go into linguistics, and I'd like to learn Russian and German. I speak French now, so. Thank you. Yeah. And um, I understand you're the co-president of the Harry Potter Club. Yes, I am. What good works do they do? Uh, we're having our sorting ceremony on uh, Monday. Say no more. <laughs> It's wonderful. Jeremy Blackman, you're also involved in drama. Yes, I am. Um, I am in the upcoming San Mateo High School production of Romeo and Juliet. Who wrote that? Uh, I think it was William Shakespeare. Good yes. for you. That's 10 <laughs> points to the bear. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, and you're also the president? Of I'm Triple? also the president of the chess club and the Warhammer 40,000 club at school. Excuse me? Um, Warhammer 40,000, well, basically it's a 20-year-old game. It's a strategy game like chess, except you have to take in, uh, you, you have to take into account other things such as you know terrain and range when you're uh, annihilating your enemy. Fabulous. Yes. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. And break a leg in Ju Romeo and Juliet. Sarah Allen, you're also an officer on several clubs. Yes. But there are different kinds of clubs from Jeremy. Yes. What do you do? Um, I'm secretary treasurer of the math team, and I'm vice president of the physics club. So one could safely say you're involved in math and science. Yes. <laughs> well, is that what you would like to pursue after school? Yes. Good. But you're a junior now, so you have some time to figure it out. Actually, I'm a senior. You're a senior. Well, then forget about it. <laughs> you got to decide right now. Go. All right. I'll give you some time. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Jared Wilkie. And would you put your hands together for our judge, Mr. Brad Reed. <coughs> <coughs> 
All right, we will be right back and start playing lightning rounds after these messages. Stay tuned. Well, if you see those buzzers in front of you, here's how we play. First person to buzz in when I ask a question gets a chance to answer for your team. Give me the right answer, you score 10 points. Give me the wrong answer, and the other team gets to collaborate for three seconds and perhaps steal those points away. If you buzz in before I complete the question, you will have to answer with the part of the question you heard. If you get the wrong answer, I will complete the question for the other team, okay? It is 70 to 30. Good luck to both teams, here's the first question. It has two locations, one in Strasbourg, where meetings are held periodically, and Brussels, which is considered the headquarters. What is this governing, Kevin? The European Union. Can I accept that? No. What is this governing body of the European Union? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> the European Parliament. Okay. In her later years, she bought and managed a sheep farm in the Lake District, which was the basis for many of her stories. Who was this illustrator and author of the books The Tale of Tom Kitten, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin, and The Tale of Peter Rabbit? Michelle. Beatrix Potter. Correct. A subsidiary of Fuji Heavy Industries, its name is the Japanese word for the star cluster Pleiades, which is also its logo. What car company makes the Impreza, the Legacy, and B9 Tribeca S? James. Subaru. Correct. He won a riddle competition with the question, what do I have in my pocket? Who Michelle. Is, um, Bilbo Baggins? Yes, but it's not Jeopardy. Oh, sorry. I knew I was going to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Originally defined as an acre of a plowed field, what measure of length is commonly used in horse racing with about five of them equaling a kilometer? A furlong. Called source of water by the Muslims, it remained in Moorish hands until 1085 when Alfonso VI took it during his advance toward Toledo. What city became the capital of Spain? Madrid. That's right, Jeremy. In the UK and Australia, this is a non-silent form of comedic theater performed around Christmas time. What word also describes acting in which someone with a painted face communicates action? Michelle. Miming. That's right. He held many jobs over his life, but finally at age 40 began selling the food he became famous for out of the living quarters at his service station. Who was this man, founder of a nationwide fast food restaurant chain, made an honorary colonel of Kentucky in 19... Uh, sure. um, colonel Sanders. Correct. The daughter of Asclepius and granddaughter of Apollo. She's the goddess of healing and medicine. I could use her right now. What word also names a remedy that cures everything? Kevin. A panacea. Correct. Its two official languages are Sinhala and Tamil. What is this island sometimes called India's teardrop? Sri Lanka. That's right, Jeremy. Even though Aflac made fun of this sport in a commercial, it then went on to sponsor its collegiate national championship earlier this year. What is this sport that combines ballet, gymnastics, and water? Sarah. Synchronized swimming. Correct. It recently put in a $35 billion bid to purchase MBNA. What financial institution that began as the Bank of Italy in San... Bank of America. Correct, Jeremy. It originated during the 14th century and was abolished by Cromwell after the English Civil War, but was reinstated in 1660. What is this upper house of the Parliament of... James. House of Lords. Correct. This term can be a catch-all for non-polar or water-insoluble compounds. Sarah. Hydrophobic. I'm sorry? Hydrophobic. No, I'm sorry. What name can characterize a linkage of fatty acids such as those with the pre prefix phospho? Fatty acids? Lipids. A recent TV special had his granddaughter Mariel exploring the various bars and eateries in Cuba where he stayed during the latter... Yes, Kevin. Ernest Hemingway? Right. Now a Christian church, it was first built during the first consulship of Marcus Agrippa. Destroyed by fire and rebuilt by Hadrian, what is this building in Rome? Pantheon. That's right, Jeremy. If a three ohm and a six ohm resistor are connected in parallel, what is the equivalent resistance through the circuit? 
two ohms. An article in Fortune magazine explained how sometimes corporate managers would rather play this game to help them make a decision than flip a coin. What game is also known as rock, paper, scissors? Rochambeau. That's right, Jeremy. In 1942, she met a young Parsi named Faroz, and in 1944 gave birth to her son and successor, Rajiv, who is this daughter of Nehru and two-time prime minister of India. Indira Gandhi. That's the end of the round. Let's look at the score. Well, now we have a little switch. De La Salle has 110. Sam Mateo with 130 has taken the lead. We will return for the final round of this match in just a moment. Let's play the extreme lightning round. Point values are doubled, folks, but the play stays the same. Here we go. He was born at Bolingbroke Castle, hence the other name he was known by, and in 1399 was the first monarch to give an address in English since the Norman Conquest. Who was the son of John of Gaunt, the subject of a two-part play by William Shakespeare? Henry IV. What Edgar, what Edgar Allan Poe short horror story concerns Roderick and his sister Madeline and their fate, which is closely linked with the home in which they live? The fall of the House of Usher. This value helps verify that electrons are conserved after a reaction has taken place. What is this number that is defined as the number of negative and positive charges in an atom? Chris. Oxidation number? That is correct. Those who argue for it say that it helps establish competitive markets and keeps an industry free from political influence. And those against it say it leads to profiteering. What is this process of the transfer of property away from public ownership, such as what Bush wants to do with social security? Sarah. Privatization. Correct. Examples of it can be seen in Caravaggio's The Calling of St. Matthew and many paintings by Rembrandt. What is this technique that in English means light dark? Michelle. Chiaro Schiro. Correct. He hit more home runs in a few hours than most major leaguers hit in a season. What Philadelphia Phillies outfielder won the 2005 Home Run Derby, setting a new record with 41 home runs? It was Bobby Abreu. It comes from the Italian word for really fresh. And thus to be done properly, the surface needs to be freshly laid plaster. Sarah. Fresca. Correct. The smallest ones are called companions, where awards are given for waggiest tail and handsomest. What are these events, the most famous of which are Crufts and the ones put on by the Westminster Kennel Club? Kevin. Dog shows? Right. In the ESPN series Tilt, Michael Madsen's character has this nickname, literally meaning killer. What is the Spanish? Kevin. The Matador? Right. In anatomy, this point is the highest point on the skull when standing upright. What term in geometry is a corner of a polygon where two sides meet? James. Vertex. Right. The original name for this river is Ura Uragan, which makes sense since it's the name for one of the states it flows through. What is this river in the Pacific Northwest that Lewis and James? The Columbia. Right. What starting running back for the Kansas City Chiefs has a clerical sounding first name? Parish. Oh, I don't know. Um, sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal, gentlemen. Priest Holmes. Part of their appeal was their desire to mix breakdancing and rap music, but not get eclipsed by a tough gangsta image. What is this hip hop group that has released the albums Ella Funk? James. Black Eyed Peas? Yes. When Khan moved next door to Hank and his friends on King of the Hill, he insisted he was from this country. James. Laos? Yes. Recent studies indicate they were not a subspecies of Homo sapiens. What was the species named after the valley in Germany? Yes, James? Neanderthals. Correct. Like Christian IV before him, this king was aided by Cardinal Richelieu in his attempt to take the Protestant lands from the German emperor. Who was this king of Sweden who died fighting at Lutzen during the Thirty Years' War? Yes, James. Gustav V. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Gustavus Adolphus was actually the second. 
His two brothers were also involved in music, Michael a composer and Johann a tenor singer, who was the so-called father of the symphony, whose 94th was called the Surprise. Hayden, Hayden, I'm so sorry, Hayden. What name is given to a square matrix that has all ones along its main diagonal and zero for all other entries? An identity matrix. Nicknamed the Glove because of his tenacious defense, he was one of the top point guards while playing for the Seattle Supersonics in the early and mid 90s. Who is this NBA star who will rejoin Shaquille O'Neal on the Miami Heat and try yet again to win that elusive championship? Gary Payton. Though his capital was at Beijing, Marco Polo may have visited his empire in the 1270s and seen his summer palace Xanadu. That is right, Jeremy. The main rival to Howard Hughes and TWA, Juan Chip. Yes, Kevin. Oh. Uh, uh, Ralph Wooden Brewster? No, I'm sorry. Juan Tripp was the president of what now defunct US based airline that sought a monopoly on international commercial flights? Uh, Continental? No, Pan Am. That is the end of the game. 210 over here with 270. De La Salle moves on to the next round. <laughs> Sam Mateo, you are a worthy team, and I wish you the best of luck this year in all your pursuits. We'll see you guys in the second round of play when you take on another team. Hope you'll join us each week for Quiz Kids. Bye-bye, everybody. The following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, and Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expense-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers, the Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, and the Knights Templar.